Have you been looking for a way to grow your church online presence and get more people engaged in your community? Stay tuned today because I will be talking on how to grow your church Facebook platform. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. My name is Ali Tayo and thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time here, it's a pleasure. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the links below for more videos. All right, guys, today we are talking about how to grow your church Facebook platform. Of course, I believe you know that any church online or on social media focuses on to this fundamental purpose, um, which is number one, to engage with their community, and number two, is to reach in the new people. And that is so amazing because Facebook is designed in a very easy way to use, and everyone can use Facebook to reach out to a larger people and to connect with congregations. And Facebook um, has over 2 billion users and uh, so you can reach out to as many people as you want. Do you know actually that Facebook said yeah, 60% of all the people in every age demographic are on Facebook? So that means according to them, they have 88% of people from the age of 18 to 29 are on Facebook and according to them, the list goes on even to um, 62% of people from the age of 65 and above are on Facebook. This means that Facebook um, is uh, best ways your church can reach out and connect to people online. So if you are trying to connect to young people, um, you can do that through Facebook. Or if you're looking for a new family to join your church, you can also connect to them through Facebook. Or maybe you just want to engage with a boomer and elderly population, um, you can also get them through Facebook. What I'm saying is no matter your visions and uh, um, who you want to reach, chances are they are all of Facebook. So um, I'm going to be sharing these two steps uh, for you that you can use to build your church uh, Facebook uh, platform. And number one is, first of all, I believe you need to set up your personal profile uh, for success and get it running. So what I mean by that is that make sure you fill in all the available space that uh, Facebook require you to do. Number one is uh, make sure you upload um, suitable and good quality profile picture that speak well of you and also make sure that you upload um, uh, profile, um, sorry, uh, cover photo that talks about your ministry and what you do and fill in the about section with all your details and don't forget to add all your contacts uh, uh, numbers in case if people want to get to you at church address if that is possible and this last one is very important make sure you add links that lead to your church facebook platform why am i saying all this uh your personal profile actually speak a lot about you uh, to people who might want to join your church Facebook uh, page. Um, studies have shows that people are more likely to know about the man behind the wheel before considering to join your church Facebook page. So it's very important that you get your Facebook uh, uh, profile running by posting pictures, commenting, and adding value to people that you already have on Facebook. Um, by doing all this, um, you have a good chance of reaching people who are not aware of your church. All right. So number two step, which I believe is one of the best way for your church to engage the community is to establish a space where dialogue is encouraged. All right. So what I mean by that, you and I know that there is no how you can build a, a successful a uh, successful uh, business or ministry without good quality conversation where you can communicate with your people. Um, all right. So, and one of the best uh, good about Facebook page is that 
much of your community actually provide your content. So um, they, they, they can post pictures and people are commenting and people are responding. And that is one of the beautiful way, uh, beautiful things of Facebook uh, page. So for example, maybe you are you post a picture of your church, uh, one of your church events, pictures uh, of um, one of the church picnic and people start commenting. And that is how you get your church Facebook page running. All right. So here are a few tips, I believe, can help you a lot. Okay. Number one is, I have seven of them. So number one is share weekly sermons and recordings. This one is important. Make sure you share weekly sermons and recordings. Number two, ask conversation. For example, start, in a, que start a question about the, the, the weekly sermons and let people respond. Uh, respond to people conversation. Also, that's number three, respond to people conversation. Number four, post uh, pictures from the church recent events. Um, it's very important. Sometimes you can use pictures of uh, people smiling because smiling faces are very good. People tend to respond to uh, pictures of people who are happy, you know, okay? So number five, important, this one is uh, share prayer request. Share prayer request. One of the best um, way to use Facebook is to share a uh, prayer request. People need prayer. People need spiritual guidance. Even in this uncertainty time, people need uh, uh, to know that uh, someone is there, even as the church is, cl uh, the doors are closed for now. People want to know that somebody are there praying for them and uh, that cares about their spiritual needs. So make sure you share prayer requests and don't forget also share their testimony. All right, this is another good way to get people engaged and grow to grow your church Facebook platform. Share people's testimony. All right, number. Number six, also post um, announcements of the upcoming church event. And number seven is go live as much as you can. This one is important. Make sure you go live as much as you can and tell people to share it on their page and comment and like the page. And this is one of the best way you can uh, grow your church Facebook platform. Also, don't forget why you do all this, that you leave... Um, a space where new voices can also join in. So uh, it's very important, you know, you need to connect to new people. Also have them in mind that you will always have people who are coming to your page, who are checking out your page. So um, you need to create a space where they will feel more comfortable. Don't just make it around your, your congregation. Be very open to people who might be coming into uh, who might be who might be coming to your church or who might be coming to your Facebook page? Okay, all right. So uh, another way that I think that you can grow your church Facebook page is by um, liking and commenting or interacting with like-minded organizations. Um, I mean, local like-minded organization, maybe a church, a ministry, or a pastor. Or anyone, anyone that um, you know that inspire you, that uh, that uh, that uh, that's your mentor. Make sure you connect with them. Uh, you can start by commenting on their photos, sharing their page, and also you know liking their event. These are good ways, I believe. You can expand, you can grow, and reach out to many people uh, that are not part of your church yet. Okay, so these are few tips I believe that um, you can use to grow your church Facebook platform. So thank you so much for watching. That is it for today's teaching. And if you find this video helpful in any way, please consider sharing it with your friends. And don't forget if you have not done so by clicking the link below to search for more videos that will help you to grow in ministry and in the work of the Lord. All right. So thank you for watching. God bless you. See you next time.